Namaste yogis. It's Goga. Kinda like yoga. <laughs> Two years in the game, 78 posts later, it is clear hip openers are the big boys or girls in yoga. From sitting ones, lunges, squats, goddesses, hamstring stretches, including the inversions. With this foundation, I'm convinced that we are ready to take a 90-day journey towards the mother of them all. They call it Hanumasana, monkey, or as most of you know it, the splits. Enjoy the ride. Day number 20. So let's begin with 60 seconds butt kicks. So bring your hands to your chest and then you want to start kicking your bum, your glutes with your heels. And then try to make sure that, you know, the feet are literally touching the hips. So you're, you know, trying to massage your glutes here with Heels. This is funny. This posture gets me every time, you know. Butt kicks literally, figuratively kick someone's butt. <laughs> anyway, keep running. Just be able to find a bit of stretch here. And then you want to keep your chest straight, looking forward. We are halfway through the journey. 30 more seconds to go. You can make circles. You can, I don't know, figure it out. Just figure out what works for you. Inhaling and exhaling as you jump. Then we start slowing down. I'm getting tired here. This is very good cardio. Slow down very slowly. Release. Oof. Catch your breath for a bit. Get a chair. Come and sit on a chair. We're going to do an open chain knee extension on the right. Stretch your right leg forward or the left. And then you want to flex your toes. Make sure you're not using force in this posture. So you're just like seated, relaxed. This is what I've been doing, like seated on a wall, but today I got a chair. Then Relax here for a bit. Try to keep the chest upright. Gazing forward as you point your toes towards your face. Then gently release. Good. Switch sides. We're going to do an open chain knee extension on the right side. To flex. Pointing your toes towards your face. Feeling that deep stretch. For 30 seconds. Feeling that nice stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. Trying to keep our uh, spine straight as it gets forward. And then gently release the posture and relax. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to do some side lunges. So you come to the center of the mat and then you find a lunge on the right. So you're going to do this for about one minute or 60 seconds. Come back to center, and then you try and come onto a lunge. And then you want to make sure that your toes are pointing forward as you come back to center, feeling that stretch on the stretched foot as you find the lunge. And then I'm going to see whether I can hold it here for a bit. Very good posture just to be able to stretch the hamstrings. It's a very nice stretch as well. Halfway through the journey, maybe for 30 more seconds. And these postures are very good because they're going to prepare us for the peak posture later on in the episodes. So let me see that I can hold it here for a bit just to make fun, make it more fun and, you know, intentional. Come back to center so that you can lean towards the other side. Side lunges are very great, especially just to be able to bring that hamstring flexibility. Last one maybe on this side, and then gently release. The next what you're going to do, we are going to do calf raises with splayed foot. So go stand in front of a wall and then splay your feet out and then so that you can lift up and raise your calves. Very good posture, just be able to work the calf muscles here. So inhale, rise, exhale, come down for 60 seconds so that you can find this calf raises. You can even bring your hands on your waist. Feeling that nice stretch on the calf muscles as you bring your heels up. And then say that you can maybe even hold it like a ballerina. It's black and white Fridays, guys. So yeah, I love this posture for some reason every Friday when you're just like winding up the week. It's day number 20. So you have like 70 more days to go in this challenge. Halfway through the journey, let me get the support of the world once again. 
you lift up, explain your feet. It's a very gentle, a nice stretch generally on the calf muscles. Rise up, bring it down. And then maybe hold it at the top for a bit. And freeze there for a bit, just to be able to find that stretch. And then once you're ready, release the posture, take a rest. The next what you're going to do, you're going to do a 60 seconds line leg abduction. So come on to line on the mat and then straddle your feet as you inhale. As you exhale, you bring them back to center. So you keep doing that, bring them in and open. Trying to find that abduction. Very good posture just to be able to stretch the inner thighs and the groin area. So inhale, open, exhale, bring them back to center. Finding that beat of stretch and intentionality. And maybe say that you can hold them even for a bit if you want more challenge and see how far you can take the feet out. Halfway through the journey, bring them in. Yeah, staying with this sensation and stretch. Very good gentle stretch. Inhale, exhale. Maybe hold it here for one last time and then release. Bend your knees, come into sitting. The next posture we're going to do, we are going to do a wide leg hamstring stretch. So take your feet out as wide as your mat and so that you can reach and tap the ground underneath you. This exercise is very good just to stretch the back of the legs. This like is from the heel all the way to the apex of the thighs, which is like your hips. And you're able to feel that hamstring stretch as you keep like finding that bend. And then you want to keep your back straight as possible, keeping a flat back, and you can gaze forward. We can even gaze down so that you're not straining your neck. Half the time, you can even grab the size of your feet and you can take it as wide as possible. I mean, office clothes here, so I'm trying to make sure I don't tear my pants and stuff. So I'm not taking it as wide as I usually do. But again, if you are wearing soft clothes, you want to like try as much as you can just to be able to find more range in this uh, wide-legged forward fold. And then slowly release the posture, take a bit of rest. Oof coming into standing. So the next posture we're going to do, we're going to come into a 60 seconds half forward fold. So you rise up and then exhale bow forward, trying to get a flat back. So you do that, you come up, you fold forward, trying to get that nice flat back. And then you start to maybe bring in some primal movement. As you come up, pull your belly in, rise up, just to see what that looks like. Very good posture again, just to be able to work on the hamstrings and then also like on the upper body and then you come up Oof. inhale and exhale standing half forward fold or a flat back bow forward rise up feeling that nice stretch trying to keep the feet hip with distance apart there about just to be able to you know Find a bit of ease in the posture. Take a rest. The next posture we're going to do, we're going to do 40 seconds of a kneeling lunge stretch. So come into a lunge, bring your hands on top of your left knee, and then find a horse rider. This is normally what we do in the sun salutation, the Hatha Yoga sun salutation. And then start melting your hips down towards the mat as you lunge into that knee. So you'll feel a very nice stretch going on there in the hip flexors and also on the back quad. And stay here for about five more seconds. Kneeling lunge stretch. Gently release. Stay here for a bit. We're going to switch and take kneeling lunge stretch for 40 seconds on the right side. So same action. Foundations again, knee on top of the ankle. And then you can rest your hands on top of the right knee and then start melting your hips towards the ground. So you want to do this very deliberately as you feel that stretch as you keep melting the hips towards the mat. So you can start with a bit of pulses here and then once you freeze, just freeze and hold the stretch. 
again make sure the knee doesn't go beyond the toes so you are trying to keep the bones on top of each other for your safety so in yoga alignment is very important always okay almost done here I'm trying to say they can come into a horse rider stance it's the weekend so, so we are going to ride horses you know <laughs> this is a plan this gives you that bit of preparation uh, good and then gently release the posture Oof. take a rest come on to line on your back and then we are we are going to do legs up the wall so i'm not going to use the wall here but just to give you a bit of alignment so you can support your lower back so you take your feet up 90 degrees and then you can even make bring a plate to your toes i'm pointing my toes flexing and again just lie here feet are 90 degrees so you're doing a 90 degree angle uh with your you can see on my belly and my feet area and then bring your palms to face up and just stay here gaze at your toes ladies once again or men if you need a pedicure this is it you notice some of these things when you're doing some of these postures so keep pointing and flexing your toes just be able to find that hamstring stretch again remember if it's available for you you can really support your lower back with a cushion or you can just slide your hands to support your lower back inhale exhale breathing in and out gently release by hugging your knees to your chest rock up and back come into sitting the next what you're going to do we are going to do a forward spine stretch so come into sitting stretch your legs forward so come up so that you can reach and tap your toes come up tap your toes so this exercise is very good just to be able to stretch your spine but in the same way it's also working the hamstrings because they are in contact with the ground so you inhale come up exhale reach and tap the toes feeling that nice gentle stretch of the spine inhale come up exhale touch the toes stretching the spine come up touch the toes freeze here and just hold it maybe the way you normally do like a forward fold otherwise you can keep the pulses going and then you are pulling your belly in you know as you go down just be able to create that space and that nice gentle ham uh spine stretch going on there and the hamstring stretch that is also happening here then slowly release the posture take a rest Oof, coming into dandasana the next posture you're going to do we are going to do a kneeling lunge but now we are going to bring pulses remember the other one was a kneeling lunge stretch now we are going to bring in the pulses this is very important because our peak posture is going to be a split like you're going to attempt a supported split in full it's day number 20 it's that time it's about time right so yeah just to take stock so keep pulsing keep going keep going just be able to pulse on this left side just be able to find that stretch going on there then gently release switch sides so we're going to go uh, we're going to do now a kneeling lunge on this uh on the right so keep pulsing on the right now keep melting your hips down towards the ground so i decided to give you an up close here so that you're able to see how deep this stretch is so you keep pulsing it's like you're melting the hips towards the earth just be able to find that bit of stretch very good posture just be able to flex bring flexibility to the hips generally half the time keep pulsing inhaling and exhaling and then maybe freeze and hold it for a bit just the way we did in the first one you know the kneeling lunge stretch from earlier and then gently release take a rest the next what you're going to do you're going to do half split or half hanuman so straighten that right leg the left leg maybe and see whether you can find a half split so so that you can press your palms down others you can support yourself on a spider fingers and just trying to keep that left knee as straight as possible it's a very nice hamstring stretch and then you can even slide your right knee slightly in just trying to keep the knee below the hips of the pelvis others if it's there for you so that you can bow forward 
and say that you can inch towards kissing your knee just for a bit. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release by rebending that foot. Take a rest. The next thing you're going to do, we do half split on the other side. So again, straighten the right knee until like you balance on the heel. And then you can slide the left knee slightly in to be under the pelvis. And then so that you can press your palms down, keeping the right foot straight. And then so that you can press your palms down and just stay here. You can either gaze forward or you can even bow and kiss your knee. Others just stay there halfway. If you can't reach your knee, it's perfectly fine. You know, this is more in yoga practice. You don't need to like strain yourself. And then keep pressing the palms as you gaze forward. Inhale, exhale. And then gently release. Coming onto line on the back, we're going to do a spine hamstring stretch on the right foot. So see whether you can lift your right foot and then pull that foot towards your face. Grab behind your calf. It's perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can switch as well and see what that looks like. So you see what that looks like again. Just be able to find that bit of stretch. You can also press the lower foot down on the ground, trying to make sure that it stays on the ground as much as possible as you pull the other foot towards your face. Very good posture. Just be able to stretch the hamstring. It's like you're doing scissors as well. And this is very crucial because it's going out to help us on this final posture. Supported splits on the right side. Get a cushion, get a block, whatever you need to do. I'm going to roll my cotton mat here just to be able to give me a bit of support. So we are going to attempt a full split, but it's going to be supported. So take your right leg out, take start from half split, and so that you can slide the back foot, and then so that you can bring that cushion or a block under your right hamstring. So your groin should be stretching right about now. Your hamstring should be screaming. I'm saying that I can bow forward here. And then try to keep your upper body straight because that weight you need it on top of the pelvis. Oh my goodness, this is like, yeah, the sensation is strong. And then just stay here. This is where we are on our split journey on day number 20. Oof. Then gently release by bringing that foot slightly in. And then supported splits on the other side. So again, I take my left leg out. And then I see that I can find a split. And then I keep sliding the back knee. Um... And then support that thigh on the cushion or the mat that is underneath you or a yoga block if you have one. Just be able to feel that stretch. So you are supporting the splits. It's almost like a full split that we are attempting. And remember, this is our goal, guys. The full Hanuman by day 90. Day 20, let us see where it is. So stay here. Maybe so that I can kiss my knee. that bit of stretch Oof. I'm laughing here but I'm dying you know Oof. then gently release by bringing that foot back in oh come onto your knees catch your breath you can even massage your thighs with your string namaste bye guys